where baby leafy greens are imported across Canada and we decided to do something about it. There's multiple steps that we take to make sure that, that nothing is growing in the facility that we don't want it to. We're at Up Vertical Farms, a production facility. It's a plant factory that we have built. We grow them indoors without any pesticide or herbicides or fungicides. It's clean, nutritious, and available all year round. It's touchless, so there's no contamination points in the field. They have to grow them as monocultures, and then they have to mix them afterwards, causing bruising. Our products are mixed together. We grow them simultaneously as a group, and then we harvest and package them right away. Consumers love it because they get a chance to eat the product. There's extended shelf life. Somebody picks it up with a forklift and puts them into the germination room. It's a dark room with a different controlled environment. It mimics the seeds being under the ground. So this is where it gets more interesting. So this is commercial scale indoor vertical farming. We control the whole environment. We grow them in industrial racks, as you can see, going up 12 levels, each level independently controlled. Once we bring on the other seven, making the 16 total racks in operations, we'll have 850 tons produced annually indoors. BC's full consumption demand is 750 tons. So these uh, leafy greens are about a week old. And as you can see, they're perfect and uniform. We do not rely on the sun. The air, humidity, CO2, everything is balanced out. And they're all consistent, beautiful, clean produce that's ready to eat. It's a multidisciplinary practice requiring engineering, farming, science. We have 8 billion people on the planet. They predict it's going to be 10 billion people by 2050. The way we're growing food right now outdoors on that scale is not sustainable and you do have to have vertical farms, not just as a supplement. We use 99% less agricultural land, 99% less fresh water, and 99% less fertilizer. So it's good food for the people and the planet.